Good afternoon, everyone. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Derek Lamont, Senior Minister at St Columbus Free Church of Scotland, Edinburgh. Presiding officer and uh, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the opportunity today uh, to address you uh, this afternoon. Imagine being an MSB is, isn't always uh, what it's cracked up to be. Uh, I salute your commitment to serving the public. I'm sure you're often misunderstood and sometimes misrepresented, and that can be isolating. You work unsociable hours, commuting far and wide, staying away from family and friends, listening to everyone else's problems, shaking a thousand hands. I'm sure you're wary of letting your uh, guard down with the media and being too personal. A bit like being film stars, really, but I'm not sure if you think that's the case. The leadership can be a lonely place. And as a society, I think we're all faced with the challenges of isolation and loneliness. Our youth, maybe particularly in their electronic world of one-dimensional friendships. Old age, with its loss of friends and family, poverty, unemployment, having the wrong opinions, busyness, not being like everyone else. A thousand challenges today in our sophisticated first world society. I'm a minister of uh, the Free Church of Scotland, an old Christian denomination. Our roots, at least since around 1900, have had strong Highland connections. But we do aspire now to be a church for the whole of Scotland, and I value greatly the privilege of having been the minister of St. Columbus in my, home church, in my home city of Edinburgh for the last 16 and a half years, and your neighbour uh, at the top of the mile. But our Highland flavour, uh, I think often derided in the past and maybe even still by some, offers a perspective on family, community, and belonging that fits in well with the Christian message of reconciliation with God through Christ. He uniquely understands loneliness. As the book of Isaiah prophesied of his short life, he was despised and rejected. His death and resurrection, celebrated uh, by the Christian community recently at Easter, offers an end to spiritual desolation and loneliness and inspires us to live and love others sacrificially. But we love community and uh, we hope that through our commitment to it, as we open our hearts and homes to all, whatever their convictions, religion, ethnicity, orientation or politics, we can inspire something new. With uh, an unqualified attitude of Christ-motivated love and service, we want to reach out into the communities throughout Scotland to dispel loneliness, provoking an opportunity to share our faith in such a way that breaks down barriers, helping us to understand each other better and the gospel that has transformed our lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.